Let's talk about how you can build a CMS predictive search in Webflow. Here is the demo. And if I click on the search bar and if I start typing focus, so you can see that focus was not a part of the initial list that I can see, but if I start typing, so I get the results. And if I click on this item, so it will take me to the CMS uh, template page for this item. And this solution is built by Dilshad. You can visit his profile to uh, view other projects that he has uh, made public. Um, so we will follow the documentation that Dilshad has provided. We will go step by step and we will try to implement the same solution in Webflow. So I have already set up the basic structure. So we have the input field inside the form, right? And we have we have a div block and inside this div block we have the CMS collection list and this collection list is connected with a collection list which is called medicines and this collection list contains 20 items and if I open this collection list so I have a link inside and this link is connected with the template page right so it is taking me to the template page um, and other than that we have a simple icon and we have the text element so I think, yeah, so this is the, this is the structure. So we do not need this text style link. Yeah. Uh, so that was the structure. So now let's try to follow this documentation step by step. Um, so the first step is like, we have to copy this script and we have to add this to this section before closing body tag right um, if I just show you that what is inside this script so let's go to beautify JS let's go to this link and let me just copy this script let's put this inside this beautifier beautify code so this is what we have inside uh, so there you will see that we have to use um, we have to use uh, more some more attributes like ps element input and like fin suite cms filter field so they need to be on the page when this script is going to run so that's why we have to put it inside the before closing body tag so that these items are loaded on the page when we run this script right so let's go back and let's go to the next step so the next step is like we have to implement the fin suites fin suite filter and load attributes so let's go to the fin suite fin suite attributes and let's open this with CMS filter and CMS load. So for the CMS filter, let's copy this script. So let's try to, okay, so let's move them here and let's put them inside the header section. Let's also copy the CMS load so we can save them once yeah okay perfect and let's move to the next step so we have to um, add this attribute to the CMS collection list and list is this one so let's put the attribute right there so let's put list right and the next step is like the filters. So let's copy this one. And we have to mention that the filters are inside this specific block, right? So our filter is this input field where we are going to type the name filters. Make sure that you have the 
correct spellings filters or you can just go and you can copy and you can paste so there are no mistakes and the next step is like field identifier so let's copy this one and the field identifier is going to be this word this text element so let's put it there and give it a name so we can say that this is the medicine name medi medicine right okay all good and we also have to yeah we also have to put the same attribute there as well medicine okay perfect yeah so we are done with um, um, this cms filter so now let's implement the cms load so we just have to identify the yeah the list okay let, let's copy this attribute and put it right there let's also call it list and i think we are done yeah we don't we do not need any other attribute so we just have to identify the list right okay so now let's move to the next step and the next step is like we have to put these three attributes and the good thing is that dilshad has provided us a screenshot and he has pointed out that which attribute is going so which attribute is to link with which element so let's copy this ps element wrapper and we now know that this is going to be for this form block in which we have the we have this uh, input field and this is going to be wrapper okay and the next part is like search form input and this is going to be uh, ps element input ps element input is going to be on this input field this one so let's put it there input right and the next one is ps element result and the result one is this so let's put it for the parent of this cms collection and this is going to be result okay let's move on and i think that's pretty much of it okay so you can also copy this okay so the tip is add this css in the head of the page this will not let the user to interactive with input when there is i when there is item is loaded as soon as the items are available for being searched js code to enable the user to interact with the input okay so let's put this inside the head of the page right there okay perfect let's save this one and we have some more attributes so let's go back to the filter and for the filter there are some other attributes that will improve the user experience like the duration and the second one is like the bounce yeah so let's copy these and let's put it okay let me just make sure that where we are going to add these elements so add to any element with list okay okay let's put it for the list right there and let's make it zero and for the duration we do not need any 
um, duration we need to make it quicker so let's put a zero there as well and what else we have yeah okay let's try to let's try to publish and see what are the results we have okay one more thing we need to hide this part initially so let's make it hidden and now we can publish okay so let's preview what are the results we have so now if i click on this uh, search bar so we have the list there right and if i start typing let's type for insulin so you can see that we have the results there immediately so let's type for a medicine which is not a part of this initial list which is insulin we have brufen and if i click on this link so we it will take us to the template page and there we can see the results so yeah this is all good and it's all working and thanks to dilshad for this wonderful wonderful solution